Hello everyone and today I would like to show you an incredibly beautiful chess problem composition by George Koltonowski. He was a very strong chess grandmaster. He was Belgium American and Koltonowski in 1937 he played 34 chess games simultaneously while he was blindfolded and making headline news around the world. He also set a record in 1960 for playing 56 consecutive blindfolded games at 10 seconds per move. So he was also an incredible blindfolded chess player. So that was his incredible talent. He had a photographic memory. So in this picture, we can see Koltonowski playing blindfolded chess in a simultaneous exhibition against his opponents. So a very nice picture as well. So, okay. Uh, but Koltonowski, even though he was known as a very strong chess grandmaster, he, he also composed some chess problem compositions. So he composed this in 1960. He was not a uh, well known as a chess problem composer. Uh, okay, so it is right to move and win. So Koltonowski, by the way, he was born in 1903 and he passed away in the year 2000 at the age of 96, only for the records. Okay, did you see the move? Now, let's evaluate this position. Uh, basically, black is threatening to push the pawn and promote the queen. Uh, so white is giving check to the king and after king to b2, what is the next move? What would you do if you had the white pieces? I showed this problem before, but I made a sloppy job. So I missed some very important tactics. I realized that after uploading the video. So if you watched this before, that's the reason why I, did, why I decided to delete and make this video once again. Uh, so this is why I'm showing this chess problem composition once again, because I missed so many important things. Uh, and we will check out those things uh, in this video. So, did you see the move? Now, let me show you which move doesn't work. If rook to f2, then king to b3, rook to f1, and black can simply play king to b2, and this is going to be threefold repetition draw. So, if king a rook to f2, king to b3, and black is threatening to push the pawn and promote the queen. So, if rook to f1, then king to b2, and this is a draw. So, white is not going to achieve anything if giving check to the king back and forward. So after rook to f1 check, king to b2. So did you see the move? It is actually a fantastic move. Rook to a1 exclamation point, And this is a very beautiful move. So king takes rook. Uh, but let's check out what happens. So this is actually one, one of the things that I missed. If a5, then white can play king to d2 and if a4 king to d1 a3 king to d2 and this is going to be zugzwang for black because after capturing the rook did you see the move king to c2 so the main idea the main idea is not allowing king to b1 or king to b2 and locking the king up so black will run out of any legal moves besides his only legal move this pawn push it doesn't matter it could be g6 or g5 if g5 ampassan of course so if pushing the pawn then white is going to create a passer and white is going to checkmate the black king in many different ways queen to g7 checkmate queen to h8 checkmate or queen to g1 checkmate so after rook to a1 black has to accept the rook but this move also has a downside because of king to c2 so the black king is still locked up in this prison cell a very depressive looking situation for the black camp so if a5 then king to c1 a4 king to c2 and then a3 and then king to c1 and black has to push the pawn a black doesn't have any legal moves because his king is locked up so after g5 we, we will capture the pawn or after g6 it doesn't matter so pushing to pawn g7 and white is faster so queen to g7 checkmate or queen to h8 is also going to be checkmate so okay uh, let's make a quick recap so rook to f1 was the first move and after king to b2 
Ruk to A1. Because if a waiting move, again, black is going to be forced to capture the Rook. And if not capturing, I mean, this is Zook Suvenk. Uh, but if something like King, uh, sorry, if something like King to B3, then King to C1. And what is next? So King to C3, and then we can capture on A2. King to B3, King to B1 and rook to g2 meanwhile white king defends the threat against the a pawn the rook is going to collect the black pawns uh, and clear the path for the white pawn white is winning easily so okay uh, a very nice chess problem composition uh, this is also not going to work so king to c2 and actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, king to c1 is also going to do the trick. So it is the same story. So king to c2, so the main idea is not allowing king to b1 and king to b2 and locking the king up. So black is going to run out of any legal moves besides his only legal move, pushing the pawn. And this is going to be checkmate. Okay, so what do you think about this chess problem composition? I hope you see this key move. Rook to a1, and this was the main solution. So this is Zuxuvenk for black. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Do take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.